Guys, I have a confession to make, and this confession really isn't easy. Despite despite all of the Dragon Ball I've experienced, the games, the movies, seeing the anime so much, even in my childhood I experienced so much of this, despite all that, I have not seen the original series. I know. I know. And you know, it's it's not a, a super big deal, you guys. It's 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 just it's it's not a big it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not it's not like I'm a like I'm a fake a, a fake a fake a fake fan. Just a minute, I'm a fake fan. I'm a fake. I obviously am so full of shit. The one god Goku would be so disappointed in me. I mean, I already know everything that happens in the show, basically, and it's not like I have hundreds of episodes of free time, and it's not like I can just sit down in one day and watch it. This is a big commitment, but no. No matter all those wonderful excuses, I'm a fake. A fake. A... Uh. So, yeah, I thought it was about time I finally got caught up on Dragon Ball. So, I have vowed to watch and review every single season of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, and whatever else is out there. And that should only take up a large number of years by my calculations. This single review took months. So yeah, take into account for this review that a lot of this series has just been spoiled to me over time. And of course, consider the fact that I haven't seen the other seasons yet. Also, very mild spoilers, just throwing that out there. That being said, let's begin! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, normally I start with the background for the series or something like that. And I could say that this story is about a little boy named Goku and he owns what's called a Dragon Ball. And this ball is one of seven, and when you bring all seven together, you get a wish granted to you by this really big, green, cool dragon. But that really doesn't sum up Dragon Ball. The series creator, Akira Toriyama, his style of writing is so just kind of unpredictable and bizarre, it, it's really just kind of hard to describe. I mean, in this season alone, we have this big, massive, grand adventure followed up with action, training a tournament arc and then there's a lot of crude sexual humor randomly thrown in mostly at the expense of a 16 year old Bulma's panties shine on Japan shine on and I think it's safe to say with how grand the series is and how it went from point A to what it is now in point B I think it's safe to say Akira Toriyama he writes without rhyme or reason type of writing that says hey you know what would be a good idea let's have flying cars and future technology, but let's pair it with dinosaurs. Fuck it, I'm Akira Toriyama. But sir, I- I'm Toriyama! Fuck you! That's how I think Toriyama thinks anyway. And with this style, the series can be really entertaining, but at the same time, it has its flaws. Like plot holes, they're a thing. In this season, we see Goku, and basically whenever he sees the moon, he goes ape shit. No pun intended. And, you know, but at the same time, he can use his power pole to drop people off at the moon, because that's a thing. And don't even ask me how he was able to breathe, because that's, that's a whole other thing in itself. And another thing about Toriyama's style, he introduces a lot of unique characters, a lot of bizarre characters, almost to the point it's a little bit jarring. But overall, I can't really hold that complaint, because I love all of these characters. I already know how these characters will grow and develop. I see their potential already. So to see them being introduced is its own sort of artistic bliss that, you know, not a lot of people can experience. Goku is a fun and humorous star, while the rest of the cast is insanely colorful, ranging from shape-shifting animals, angry kings, women with extreme personality disorders, and the season favorite for me, Master Roshi. And when Master Roshi isn't being a badass teacher, 
He tries to look up girls' dresses and feel their ass. You know, like a felony. And you might think with me saying that and that joke I had earlier about, you know, everyone having expense at Bulma's vagina, that this show could be a tad bit sexist, and I beg to differ. In fact, when they get to the World Tournament, out of the hundreds of fighters, one of them is a girl. Yep, one. And she fights by taking off her clothes. That's until she's knocked out in one hit, and then Master Roshi grabs her ass while she's unconscious, and, um... I, I don't, I, I don't know where to go with this. And that's my complaints out of the way, except maybe one other complaint, which is... Goku has this sort of overconfidence thing, and Master Roshi brings this up now. In Dragon Ball Super, that's a problem. But I'll say what I love. I love this unique and interesting world and its abundance of just these quirky characters. I love this sense of adventure, this actual sense in me that anything could happen. I love the student relationship that Goku, Krillin, and Roshi have and I love the action-packed tournament that it led up to. And lastly, I love seeing this world that I know so much be created. Character introductions, training montages, future couples meeting, the first Kamehameha wave to be shot, and of course, the first time Goku put on his gi. And with all that being said, I give Dragon Ball Season 1 a 4 out of 5 and the soul badge of approval. Also guys, before we go, I want you to check out this video where I gave my first impressions for every episode in the season of Dragon Ball. Also don't forget to check out today's featured channel, leave your thoughts in the comments, please subscribe, arise Shenron, and with that, I leave you. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods is Akira Toriyama's grand return to the Dragon Ball franchise, and I gotta say, what a presence missed in this franchise. If you're anything like me and you've been following it for so long and you were so bored with GT, you were very hyped once you heard he was coming back. Now never mind the fact that it took me so long to see it, especially for someone who was so hyped for this movie. Sometimes things just kind of happen, they fall through the cracks. I don't really have an excuse, it is what it is. But I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. You're my baby.